Members of the Halal First Nation met with representatives of the provincial government today to talk about that ongoing dispute over a water project proposal. Frustrations boiled over, as you'll recall, earlier this month. The Halal blockaded the road outside their administration office for two weeks. The First Nation took down the roadblock, it said in good faith. But it says it's not afraid to put it back up if the province and the district of North Cowichan do not live up to their word. A News reporter Brent Shearer has the latest. Traffic flows freely along Shemanus Road in front of the Halal First Nation Band Office, and everyone is hoping it will stay this way. But it all depends on the outcome of negotiations between the province and the Halal First Nation. This roadblock, which forced drivers to take a detour, may be gone, but it's certainly not forgotten. We still concede that it's temporary and that the community strongly feels that um, if, if we're not accomplishing our, our uh, overlying goals, that, that we would uh, consider putting the blockade back up. All right, we're going to have to ask you to turn around. The blockade was mostly peaceful, but it frustrated drivers and cut off the main road to the community of Crofton. It also had an ugly side. Shortly after the blockade went up, racist graffiti was spray-painted on Halal First Nation buildings. The blockade came down after the Halal First Nation hammered out an agreement in principle for a new watershed management plan with the province. And today, the two sides met. We're diligently working towards a watershed management agreement that would uh, firm up uh, our concerns with regards to future use of the wells, uh, water quality, water quantity, and uh, these types of ideas. The Halal First Nation is concerned this water project alongside the Shemanus River may have negative long-term effects on its access to water. When construction of this pump station is finished, it will help provide the town of Shemanus with a reliable supply of safe, clean drinking water that's drawn from the aquifer beneath the Halal First Nation's traditional territory. We're not trying to restrict anyone's access to water, but uh, we want insurances that uh, our community has water in the future. The Halal First Nation is planning a community meeting this week to gather feedback on whether the goals it set out to accomplish by putting the roadblock up in the first place are being accomplished. Talks with the province continue. And Brent Shearer joins us now live in our mid island Bureau with more. Brent, when will construction on the, the project finish and, and, Shemanus, uh, and, and when will Shemanus have access to a safer water supply? The project is expected to wrap up later this spring. Throughout the summer, there's going to be extensive testing to see whether drawing water has any effect on the Shemanus River or any of the wells in the area. Now, if everything checks out, water from that project will be flowing through pipes into Shemanus by the fall. Hudson? All right, Brent Shearer and Nanaimo. Brent, thank you. Thank you.